WRNB Media Philadelphia, Old School 100.3. This weekend, we're putting you aboard the Spirit of Philadelphia for the Old School Spectacular Cruise. Halloween night, hosted by our girl Lady B and Corey DST. Keep listening all weekend to get into the coolest Halloween party on the water. We're Old School 100.3. Change the jury rule. It was a jury rule uh, that wasn't in place when he was playing. He wore jury all around his neck. And they. <laughs> And then the NBA didn't like that, so they said, okay, you got to stop wearing jewelry. So that's why the guys don't wear jewelry anymore. Oh, that was Daryl's fault? Yeah, that was Daryl's fault. All right. He did have a lot of jewelry back in the day. He did. Okay. And and he's also responsible for the breakaway rims. Of course. We all know that. I was there the day he broke that backboard. And you know what was crazy? The craziest thing about that is reporters sometimes can ask the craziest questions, but they were actually asking him things like, did you do it? on purpose and who wants to see glass flying around their head on purpose like are you kidding me but he was just that strong yeah he was phenomenal he was so phenomenal i mean charismatic and and great personality Mm -hmm. he was very fun to be around you know even back then i mean he's he kept that same personality throughout his his entire life his entire life he never changed he's such a great guy you know um I mean, people even talk about how he was probably the first rapper back in those days, you know. And, you know and he I, is in heaven <laughs> smiling and laughing right now because it was Daryl that brought me my first microphone and he was serious about being a DJ. I mean, he had his little his little fake radio station, um, uh, WDUNK. I'll never forget those days. He actually hosted my 21st birthday party W-U-N-K. at the Cherry Hill High with, with uh, uh, Nucleus and Curtis Blow. Yes, yes. Wow. And, and, man. and I can relate to that because I'm an old school rap artist myself. Okay. And, you know, I performed with uh, Houdini and Eric B. and Rakim on Def Jam 2 Tour okay. back in the early 80s. So I, I really identified with that when people started talking about how he was rapping, mm-hmm. you know, with Muhammad Ali and, and you know, especially with the, the names of the dunks that he Oh, had. he was dead serious. Oh. Yes, please believe. Crying, yes. <laughs> glass flying. I love it. <laughs> he was so what awesome. a phenomenal story to tell what what made you want to do that were you just a fan well, uh, you know, um, I was a basketball coach. I'm a basketball coach oh, okay. and a trainer. Okay. So, you know, I've been coaching in college and high school. Okay. And I was doing a story on Black Magic, who is a Louis Lloyd. Mm-hmm. Who went to Oberlin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Daryl was in the gym at the time, and he and I started talking, and he, he said, you know, this do a story on me. This was about well, about four or five years ago. Wow. And that's where it started. And that's where it yeah. started. And I learned more and more about him as a person. I always knew him, you know, from watching him on TV. One of the I, sweetest, most giving guys you oh, ever want to meet oh, in your life. Oh, he's, 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 he really he's, was. He really yeah. was. So are you going to touch on all of that tomorrow? Touch on everything. I mean, his, his family, his awesome. children. Great. You know, uh, he grew up in Florida. Mm-hmm. You know, and he went to high school and went to state championship in Florida mm-hmm. and then that's before he came to Philadelphia and, and then his name just grew after that he just yeah, became an icon history. yeah all right so tell my listeners when they can check out this phenomenal piece of work you put together they can see Chocolate Thunder aka Daryl Dawkins on Saturday February 6th at 10 p.m. on TCN channel 8 Comcast and we got to mention that the Sixers are going to honor Daryl Dawkins tomorrow. Yes, they're going to honor him at the game tomorrow. They're playing the Brooklyn Nets. Awesome. And they're going to honor him, you know, uh, with a little celebration. I love it. All right, so that's Channel 8 tomorrow night at 10 on Comcast. Make sure y'all give it love. The Chocolate Thunder Story, our beloved Daryl Dawkins. He will definitely go down in history. There will never be another like him. Please believe it. Thanks for stopping by, man. I appreciate you. Thank you.